Okay, so now after we set up the site setup, we set up the site setup by going to site, new site. We're going to now connect to the actual real live web server using FTP protocol, file transfer protocol. Now, for those of you that don't know this and use programs like Fetch or WS Pro, Dreamweaver is all built into FTP. You don't have to use those external programs. Those other programs require dropping and dragging and you could make mistakes. I'm going to share with you how simple, simple, simple it is to do FTP with Dreamweaver. Now, once it's set up the first time, you never have to touch it again. From that point, Dreamweaver will always know where your files are kept. It's a very, very simple system. It's so simple, it's frightening. If you follow my exact rules, you'll be able to upload, download, make changes to the files very simply and not lose track. So let's get started. Okay, so we already set up a site in our previous first video, in our first video. So in this particular case, we're gonna go to Manage Sites and we're gonna either double click or edit. So we're gonna say double click this. Okay, so here's our existing site we set up. Now we didn't set up the FTP, we're now going to set up the FTP for this particular web server. Okay, now, where do you get this information from? Again, this would come from your hosting company, GoDaddy, Register.com, Bluehost. They would send you the FTP information. Different hosting companies use different protocol, but it's the same type of setup. The other thing I want to share with you is that this is CS5, CS5.5, this is CS5.5, CS5 and 5.5, it looks exactly like this, CS4 and CS3, interface is slightly different, but it's the same type of setup here. So I go to servers. Now, I don't have a server up yet. So based on these choices, these are my choices, I'm gonna hit the plus button. And my computer is going to spin. Okay, so we're going to set up a basic HTML server site. Now I can copy, so therefore I can paste. Copy, paste. Now the server name is for, for your use. I typically don't put the .com for the server name. Okay, that's just the server name, <laughs> name of the server. It has nothing to do with anything. It's how you want to identify this particular web server FTP account. And we're going to connect to FTP. Now, if your hosting requires, if your hosting company requires that you connect to a secure FTP, then you'd have to pick those appropriate settings. We're going to keep this simple and simply select FTP. Then we're going to put in the FTP address.com. Now, some hosting companies have it set up so it's FTP.name of your site.com. We're simply going to do this very, very straightforwardly. Okay? So, this is going to be name of the FTP address is name of the site.com that I put in my username. My username. Then I put in my password. Yada, yada, yada. Now, this is a very important next step to pay attention to. Most hosting companies root directories either www forward slash or public underscore HTML. Again, you would get that from your hosting company, from your hosting company. So for my hosting company, which I have to have own servers out in California, I know it's www forward slash. Now, pay close attention to this. Watch what happens. When I hit the tab key, Dreamweaver assumes that www, is, I'm going to take this one step at a time. Dreamweaver made a small mistake here. Dreamweaver assumes that www is my root folder. That's true, but it put it down here. So very important step here. Watch this carefully because if you screw this up, it's not going to work. I don't want to put my www there. www goes right before my web address. So it's simply www. Now, if this is correct, I would hit test. Okay, so I'm going to test that. So once it's tested, I could then save the file, save the settings here. Now, very important step here. I'm going to make my web address be the same as my testing server. Now, you can have 
two separate servers. You can have your main directory and you can have a testing server. I choose to basically make my testing server the same as my website. You can make it differently. You can make a whole new server set up from here and make that your testing server. I'm going to choose not to do it that way. I'm going to do it the simple way. So I simply hit testing server. That's going to basically make a testing server that I could publish my pages to. So the testing server in this particular case, guys, very clear about this. The testing server and the remote web server in this particular case is going to be the same thing, the same thing. So I hit save. It's going to redo the cache from the original settings here. We're going to hit OK, and I'm going to hit done. So therefore, there's my new FTB setup. I'm going to show you how to upload download pages in just a second.